August 17, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 540 of special Putin's operations. Big picture. Bloody fighting in the last day. Steady winds today made hearing and locating sounds difficult. Both sides are attacking and defending in multiple sectors, mostly north for the Kremlin and south for Ukraine. Russia has suggested that their stealth drone may be in operation in Ukraine. Raids and artillery across the northern border with Russia have increased by both sides in the last two weeks. Dnieper line. The changed course of the river has been dried, and new banks are becoming capable of holding more weight. There was no news about Kozachi Lahiri from Ukraine, suggesting that they may have seed their raid foothold. The Kremlin hit 78 different places in Kherson, with 422 shells. Eight civilian casualties were reported. Zaporizhia front. Ukraine continues to expand the bulge at Robotine. Fighting is bloody here for both sides, but Ukraine expends more armor pieces due to being on the attack. Ukraine downed one of approximately 50 remaining Kremlin Ka-52 helicopters in this area. Ukraine is making more advances around the Morki Yoli, with multiple attacks in different directions here. East Front, Donetsk. Yes, the Mariinka and Avdiivka Kremlin attacks were repelled by Ukrainian forces. Heavy shelling in this area. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin appears to have expanded the contested zone near the village of Bodenivka west of Yahidne, suggesting that Ukrainian attempts to advance north of Bakhmut were abandoned. Some sources suggest that the Kremlin has been attacking near the town of Bilahora, roughly 10 kilometers west of Kurdyamivka, suggesting a sizable Kremlin advance that is not being exposed by Ukrainian military services. However, if this is true, their advance is currently a pocket or a cauldron, as Ukrainian troops are recorded as having repulsed Kremlin attacks at Klishchivka. Klishchivka is roughly 15 kilometers northeast of Bilahora. A second Ka-52 was recorded as shot down today, near Klishchivka. Oskil border front. Heavy fighting in the forests and hills around the Donets River, west of Sivyera Donetsk. Fighting continues around Novosolivsky, where almost two weeks ago the Kremlin finally took that large village. North of Kupiansk, the Kremlin continues to make heavy assaults in the village of Sinkivka. The Ukrainians have reported those attacks as repulsed. It's important to remember that about a month and a half ago, Kremlin mouthpieces were claiming Sinkivka was already controlled by the Kremlin. However, in the last week, Ukrainian sources have made reports that the Kremlin has been making advances in this region. Northern border. As noted, infiltrations and shelling by both sides has been increasing in recent weeks. Sami Arblast has a long border with Russia, but had been rather quiet since the counteroffensives of fall 2022. In the last day 23 areas of Sami were shelled, for a total of 138 distinct explosions. In Kharkiv Arblast Ohertsev, Haitish, Vovchansk, and Pokalyan were shelled, count was not reported. Almost everything damaged in all shellings in this area was civilian property, including crops, outhouses, and homes. Black Sea. The Kremlin has five of Russia's combat ships in the Black Sea. None of these have missile capabilities. The Ukrainian Air Force shot down 13 Shard drones in Mykolaiv and Odessa Oblasts in the last day. Ukraine World Related. The US gives more final approval for F-16. Why? We'd love to know. Great planes built to win against Russian planes. Sitting in dusty hangars. Maybe they'll send F-15 instead? Those things would be fine. Germany is sending more Iris T SLS anti-air launchers to Ukraine. Germany is the second largest donor to Ukraine. Tenacious Tiny Lithuania is sending €800,000 to build schools and restoration of Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.